Visual data is a representation of data object that represent geographical information. It may include location, shape, size, and orientation. Whereas non-spatial data is mostly the attributes associated with spatial information layers. It may include numbers, text, and date information. So the example of spatial data are census data, NASA satellite images, weather data, medical imaging. The question is, is relational database management system capable of processing spatial data? So for that, consider a simple query to list out top 10 customers from database. The database system can easily answer these questions if it has a proper indices uh, set up on the data attributes. Now consider a special query to list top 10 customers within 30 miles of company radius. In this case, the database system has to transform the variable to suitable reference system, which may be latitude and longitude for geographical data. And the, they, and the database system has to scan over all the possible record to compute the distances between each. The database system won't be able to use indices to narrow down search because the traditional indices are incapable of ordering multidimensional coordinate data. And most of the spatial data is represented as multino multinomial data, which may be a point, line, or a area. So what is spatial database management system? SDBMS uses database management system as its underlying layer. The database management system support one such, such as concurrency query processing and query optimization to store and query the special data. SDBMS supports SQL operations using SQL3 extension which supports ADP which is abstract data processing. A modeling in DBMS versus SDBMS. To represent spatial data, a normal relational database has to create a relational model. A spatial database can directly store and process such information which makes them more efficient. So consider a following example where uh, we are representing a square region which has a name, area, cost attributes associated with them. The region can be represented in spatial database system as shown in the table. So whereas the normal database won't be able to store the boundary information directly and it has to create a relational model for that. Geographic information system is a tool to visualize and analyze the spatial data. So this can be tools like eSERI or Oracle and it uses spatial data operation such as search, location analysis, terrain analysis, flow analysis, and spatial analysis and statistics. GIS uses SDBMS to store and query spatial data. Now consider three-layer architecture of SDBMS. On the top layer, there is a special application such as GIS, CAD. So these applications are basically used to visualize the spatial data or apply modeling on them. On the second stage, there is spatial databases and the spatial databases supports uh, spatial operations such as space taxonomy, spatial data types, algorithm for spatial data. The spatial data uses database management system is as its underlying layer and the database management system provides query processing and optimization and concurrency control. The spatial database system uses SQL as standard query languages. It uses special extension to SQL OGIS and it has specification of incorporating 2D geospatial abstract data types in SQL. So there are two types of queries. Uh, one is single scan query which require a single scan of database to perform its operation. The example of such queries can be select query and second is multi-scan query. The computation requires multiple scan of database. The example of such queries can be joint query or spatial range query. The spatial query processing has two major steps. First is a filter step, 
and in this step we find the query region which are overlapping with MBRs and second is the refine step in this step we refine the results which are formed in step one so the diagram represent overall workflow of the query processing as you can see in the left leftmost diagram in the step one we define MBR region around all the uh, data objects and in step two we try to find out the MBR which are intersecting with the query region. This step is called as filter step and in next step we try to refine the query result by selecting only the overlapping results. Now we will discuss how spatial database perform index indexing and optimization. So the spatial the normal database system uses D3 as an index structure for optimizing the search time. B3 strategy cannot be applied to spatial data as it cannot be applied to multinomial space. So for, uh, for specifying spatial data we use R3 data structure which is extension of B3 and it uses uh, B3 data object as its underlying mechanism and it accommodates spatial objects into them. SDBMS uses query optimization strategy similar to traditional database management systems, but the decisions are majorly dependent on spatial ADTs. Database tries to minimize the number of operations by considering the cost of each operation. The purpose of object-based model is to abstract the spatial information into distinct, indefined identifiable and relevant things called as object where each object has some set of attributes that characterizes it the key difference between spatial data objects and traditional database is that the attribute in the spatial database diverge into two categories one is spatial and another is non-spatial in this section we will discuss spatial data types the most general shape in the spatial database system is represented by geometry. We can consider uh, it as a parent data object and all other objects are inherited from the geometry object. The geometry object describes spatial representation via a system such as latitude and longitude. The geometry data object is subdivided into point, curve, surface and geometrical collection as a data objects. There are four types of operation on spatial data objects. Self-oriented, it allows set-based relationship operation for spatial objects. Second is topological. These operations are invariant to elastic deformation and they allow operations such as inside, outside, open, close or connected. The third is directional. Directional relationship can be of three types. First is absolute viewer based and mainly. The absolute relationship are defined in a context to global reference system. The object relative directions are defined using orientation of given object. Viewer relative directions are defined with respect to specifically designed reference object called as viewer. The operations discussed in the previous sections are static in nature. In the sense that the operands are not affected by the application of the operation. The spatial database system also supports dynamic uh, spatial operations such as create, destroy, and update. There are three steps for database design. Step 1 All available information is organized into high level conceptual data model. The ER model is most prevalent conceptual design tool. Step 2 is logical modeling. In this step, the actual implementation of the conceptual data model in commercial database system is represented. The example of logical modeling is relational model. Step 3 is model modeling physical design. It deals with issues related to indexing, storing, and memory management on physical level. The ER model has entities which has independent existence. The entities in ER model are defined by attribute and the entities can interact 
each other via a relationship. There are two types of relationships. First is cardinality constraint, which can be subdivided into three types like one to one, many to many, and many to one. And other relation relationship types are based on properties of entities. The conceptual data model can be represented by ER diagram or UML diagram. And it can represent spatial concepts via a pictogram. Logical data model is a way to organize the data and define the business rules and relationship between them. The logical model can be rep uh, represented by a relational schema, which majorly explains the relational relationship between different entities via primary key and foreign key.